Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review. Today we're going to take a look at Cruz Ramirez as Francis Beltline from Cars 3. So before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So at Thunder Hollow Speedway, when Lightning McQueen got covered in mud as a as an out-of-towner named Chester Whipplefilter, Cruz uh, took on a racing number 20 me as Francis Beltline before the crazy eight started. And during the rape, which they which Lightning imagined as a an actual race, but it actually turns out to be a demolition derby. And during the race, they Cruz tried to turn do turn right to go left, but but she had lost control and landed into the into the middle, in the muddy part of the track, in the middle, which is, was the middle. And when, and when she was the last car standing, she was declared the winner. And after the race, Cruz tried to uh, plea. Um, was Cruz was trying to please Lightning with her trophy, but unfortunately, Lightning was so cross with. Cruz, due to the fact that that he wasn't getting any what anywhere, you know, because Cruz keeps messing him up, and and Lightning was so he was so furious that he accidentally knocked Cruz's trophy, causing it to break, and Cruz and then Cruz. Which triggered, which triggered her very, very easily, and 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 she revealed to herself that she wanted to become a racer because of him, and, and told him that it was her one shot, but she didn't take it, and she decided to head back to the training center. Then she met up with Lightning again, and and Lightning urged her to come with him so they would find Smokey in Thomasville. No. So they so they went to the old abandoned racetrack okay, and they did, and Cruz tried once again turn right to go left. This time she nailed it. Then they met up with Smokey and he invited them both to the Cotter Pin and met and told Smokey about the glory days of Doc Hudson, and and during Lightning's training in Thomasville, Cruz had her head side view mirrors removed and her stock top, and her regular wheels removed and and gained a flat spoiler and disguised herself as Jackson Storm. Which, of which, the cruiser mirrors of as Jackson Storm can be customized from either Rusty's cruiser mirrors or Dynaco cruiser mirrors. But what do you think? Should Mattel release a cruiser mirrors as Jackson Storm, or should it be customized? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. So anyhow. Cruz disguised herself as Jackson Storm to uh, um, to have Lightning get faster than than Storm himself. And that is all I can say. And now let's get right into the and now let's get right into the review. You have got her friendly facial expression, her black window line sills, and her headlights, and 
no tampos on the hood, just the side view mirrors, and, and on the right side we've got a bit of mud or dirt on her wheels and enamel and and the Rusty's Racing Center Team 95 emblem still there and a black number 20 and on the back side we've got a bit of mud or dirt on the bottom and the tail lights and the trunk and the CRS logo and the license plate saying C01 slash 068 and on the right side similar design but completely different oh, and I forgot to mention the gas cap and underneath it's all the undercarriage is all muddy and that is it so now let's compare her to the non regular cruiser mirrors as you can see both are cruiser mirrors. The headlights and side view mirrors, black window window sills, no tampos on the hood. Both have the Team ninety Team ninety five Rusty's Racing Center emblem on the sides. No, no mud or dirt on on either uh, shiny and clean, dirty with a racing number, no racing number. Both have the tail lights and the CRS logo and the license plate saying C01 slash 06A and, and both have and I forgot to mention the gas cap and for the wheels and undercarriage shiny and clean and dirty and muddy and both have the exhaust pipes although the exhaust pipe part I forgot to mention and that is it now let's pull up some of the other cruiser mirrors we've got Rusty's Cruise and Dynaco Cruise. And let's pull up some of the other Crazy 8 racers. We've got Lightning McQueen as Chester Whipple Filter, Dr. Damage, APB, Bill, Fishtail, and T Bone. And that is it. So, what do you guys think? Which Crazy 8 racer is your favorite, and which variant of Cruiser Mirrors is your favorite also? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if, you, and if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos and consider viewing and subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate it very much. Also, don't forget to leave and make a suggestion about which car of the past from the car collection video should I review next in the comments down as well. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!